what might make effective directors. And rather than thinking about directors having certain attributes or certain, uh, I should say, professional skills, um, rather than thinking about do we want a director who's a lawyer or an accountant or uh, a grocery manager or um, a fundraiser or any of those other kinds of skills, I think about boards, if we're going back to that boards are there as representative of the member owners and are there to govern uh, in these far-reaching ways, then maybe we can think about directors um, who are first dedicated to the cooperative, uh, second who are able to think in terms of system and context, who are themselves honest, uh, who, are, who are good judges, good, have good character, um, who are able to deal with some of these big topics, the big ideas that boards grapple with. We want folks who can uh, participate in discussions, who can really put out their own perspective, but are also able to then, once the board makes a decision, um, even if it wasn't their opinion to start with, they can they can abide by the board decision. That's a, a careful balance that good directors, uh, all all of us have trouble in accomplishing. Um, and once the board has made a decision, can can each of us delegate power? Are we willing to say we've done our part by making the decision, and then now we can delegate the responsibility for carrying that out? to someone else. Uh, in our case, typically, it's the professional manager or management team of our co-op. So if we're, if we're thinking about these as the characteristics of effective directors, then how do we go about finding those directors? Um, now, you all on your board might have a, a list that looks a little different than this, um, but it does help to start off as a whole board saying, who is it that we're looking for? What is it we're trying to find uh, in, our, in our directors? <clears throat> 